you know, do you feel like when you first came out, because, you know, you've always had, you know, you've had black bottles, obviously, for a very long time, mm-hmm. but you came out with the tattoos and the tattoos were prominent. Yeah. And they were they were big tattoos. It was like one little tattoo on the shoulder. It was like you had sleeves and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleeves and and like my legs were all done. And for me, there was nobody in the industry doing what I was doing when I was doing that. There was a couple girls right. maybe, but there was no dominant males doing that. And and whether the people want to give me my props or not, you know, I I basically was like changed the whole modeling industry when it was. You know, it was clean. No one had tattoos. And I came in with with my neck. My neck was done. Just everything. You know what I mean? And it just, it changed the game where it was more acceptant. Because I remember working for Polo Jeans. Um, they would let it ride. Because they knew I rode a Harley. They knew I rode bikes. They knew I, I you know, I was into extreme sports. So then... When I was doing Purple Label, you wouldn't see any of that. I was clean cut. And that's what I loved mm. about um, my career because I could flip. I could be put in a $4,000 suit and look like straight out of Wall Street. Or you could put me in a wife beater and some jeans and a wallet chain and put me on a Harley and I could run with the Mongols. I could run with the Hells Angels. You know, it don't matter. It just, you know, there, there was just that. I could just do it, you know, where is it now they have to uh, hire individuals for certain ones. Okay. You got to do this one. You got to do that one. You don't have that, that flexible individual that can flip like that, you know? And I think, uh, I was the best to do it, you know? Yeah. I mean, I feel like you, you changed the way men present themselves because now you see a man with a sleeve tattoo and it's just not even a big deal. It's almost like, it's surprising sometimes when you see rappers without a bunch of tattoos. Yeah. And I mean, I I respect those who don't have it. I mean, if I could do it all over again, I'd probably do it again with the sleeves. And then again, when I remember and see pictures of me without it, I was gangster then too. You just, you just didn't have any markings to catch me with. You know what I mean? Because now I notice whenever I go fill out some paperwork for some guns, they got, they have this one, uh, they, they have the, in the in their books, FBI, uh, ATF, they have it that I have one sleeve on the right arm. They don't have it that I got two because the last time they recorded it was I had one sleeve. So I'm thinking like, damn, I'm in the books for at least one sleeve. So, you know, say if I was to go back to a life of crime, I got to make sure I cover up both arms. <laughs> you know, I got to be I got to be murdered out head to toe, you know. <laughs> So, you know, it's something to think about when you get Nick. There you go. Yeah. There you go.